So kind of tricky. Now the tricky part of doing this phrase is kind of bouncing your thumb on between string, either between string two and five or between five and six as you go through this lick to try and get those ghost notes or that percussive feel, right? So the lick is this. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to bounce my thumb either on string five or string six, depending if we're using string two or if we're in those closed positions on strings four, five, and six, I'm bouncing my thumb on either string five or string six, right? So as you can see, right? In order to get that percussive effect. And that's the best way I can explain it. <laughs> yeah, that's the best, best I can explain it, I think. Right, so you kind of got to practice that. Right, in order to get that kind of bouncy feel or that palm blocked feel. If you're doing that, if you're palm blocking, well, then you're doing what Buddy's doing and it's gonna sound more like it, okay? So, let's see, where were we? So after we get to this D chord, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide up from the 18th fret to the 20th fret with my A pedal in, and then grab string two, and then here I am at the 20th fret, and now I'm gonna grab my thumb, grab string five, up a whole step on string five, so 20 to 22, and then I'm gonna grab string four, and right there begins the last D chord. Okay, so I have. Okay, so that whole big winding lick from from the C chord, 